A former Fort Wayne mayor is getting some national attention. Thousands of people voted online to name the new city-county building in his honor. But that probably won't happen because of his name. News Channel 15's Don Austin is here to explain. Well, Heather Mark, the people voted, and the top pick so far with more than 10,000 votes is the Harry Balls Government Center, named after one of the city's longest-serving mayors. But not everyone's on board with that name. Harry Bales apparently was a great mayor. That's what I'm hearing. If you, re if you read the comments, actually, some people are very serious about what he did as mayor. Um, the family was, you know, it's part of our history. I think it's part of the history we're proud of. To pick the new name for the building, people went over to feedbackfortwayne.org. They made suggestions and voted. The overwhelming front runner was the Harry Balls Government Center. Harry Balls was the mayor of Fort Wayne back in the 1930s and 40s. He even served a term in the 1950s. We have a street named after Harry Balls. <laughs> This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. you have just heard is the new standard emergency warning signal which will be used in the event of any natural disaster or emergency other than cyclones. The cyclone warning signal will remain the same. When you hear the new sound please listen carefully to the emergency information which
is the Harry Balls government's 